what are vendors doing? Because yes. with our buyers, we obviously work with our buyers, obviously we've got them financed to help them find a house. There hasn't been much stock. Where do you find all your conversations with vendors? What's happening there? I think they, the vendors are nervous, I think, about yeah. getting the price that they were hoping to achieve. Um, but a lot of us is breaking it back to the goals. And that's, yeah. I mean, as an agent, our job is to work with their actual goals with the sale of the home. So I think if you're an owner at the moment, if you're upsizing your home, yep. so if you're going from, say, a three-bedroom to a five-bedroom, where you want to move from yeah. outer east in a, a little bit, yep. you know, that's a great time to do it. Yes. Like, it might have dropped a bit, but the home you're buying next is also changed in value. Correct. And the relative changeover when you, and what people forget in this conversation is they don't think about the mortgage. Yeah. They don't think about the standard duty reduction, the, the lower the mortgage, the lower you pay over time. Yeah. So it's a compound effect, I think. Yeah, correct. Um, first home buyers, yeah, look, it's a great time for them yeah. to get in, chance to buy a better quality property than yeah. what they would have got two or three years ago. And I think over the long term, Melbourne's still looking pretty good from a capital growth perspective. Oh, definitely agree with our population's still increasing. So guys, Mike is an expert for what he does. If you're thinking about changing, moving, selling, and you have questions, we're gonna post Mike's details there. As always, if you've got any questions regarding mortgages, if you're thinking about selling and wanna upsize or downsize, give our office a call. We're always happy to sit down and run through those options with you.